well, uh, you guys probably know what happened last time. It's, it's been eight days now, but does anybody want to uh, want to make a quick? I'll do a quick one. Scope of it. All right. Well, okay. We found these. Uh, couple, this is kind of where we left off. Not so much as a recap, but uh, these pedestals in the, the checkered room where we are now. One has a red gem. One has a green gem. But each requires UMD to activate or release the gem or whatever it does, and that's a skill that none of us has at the moment. So it might be best for us to leave them alone. Um, our tentative plan is to go in and surprise the demon and destroy it with a uh, sudden onslaught because we believe, uh, based on what uh, Bill told us, that it's quite evil and that it probably has very little chance of uh, being an ally or any kind of negotiation or anything like that working. So we were just going to go in there and uh, po try to pound it and defeat it. <laughs> and, oh, it hates mirrors. We know that as well. And it's currently praying at the statue or altar to Asmodeus that's in that room to the north. And we know it speaks abyssal, celestial, and draconic. Um, also, we know that there's a couple of sigils, um, like one on the southwest is a Cure Moderate Wounds of Caster Level 5th, and the one symmetrical to it on the other side in the southeast is Cure Light Wounds. So if anybody steps on those, they would they would potentially get healed or maybe even overhealed, depending on how much uh, how many hit points you have. And finally, the East Room, we did some very effective bargaining in there with some Veggie Pygmies, and we were able to not really get their help, per se, but at least their cooperation in getting several items from that room and figuring out some things we needed. And our goal, overall goal, is to return Scruffy to nine <laughs> barmaid for which he's going to re reward us. Yes. So Scruffy needs help, although he may think he does, and he may think he's really doing great where he is now. Yes, uh, Scruffy is barking with the, with the Hydra and... Uh, His new oh, playmate. Playing around. By the way, question. See, how we're not going to continue with this. Am I just being parano paranoid as a player, not as a character, but as a player, or Scruffy, evil? <laughs> I always thought Scruffy was, was a good dog, but maybe I'm just... I think he's just been misled or deceived by the hype. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scruffy is the, is the source of all evil in the world. <laughs> I'd, I'd sooner believe that of Nine than of Scruffy, but who can say? Yeah. You forgot about the sorting cap trying to uh, slither into our brains. <laughs> I also don't think we uh, identified cap. this... Um, room as any type of spell other than it's a cure spell ah yeah you guys uh, it had something to do with healing but you uh i rolled for very, some reason i wrote well. down in my notes that it was a cure light wound that we had actually identified as that but maybe it isn't maybe it's not no from uh let's see um from my notes nope nope it's not uh, okay so we don't know what type of curing okay yes i just i just said we just identified it as a cure we identified this as a cure, and then we identified this as a cure and a cure moderate at a fifth level. All right, then. So, uh, unless anybody else has anything to add, Alden suggests that we leave the pedestals alone, but he's not going to object if anybody wants to take one of the gems, because they could be valuable. We don't know what will happen if you try to take one, but I think they're stuck to the pedestal. Yeah, they're, they're inside, uh, surrounded with the, with the stone of the pedestal. Well... Um, shall we uh, shall we proceed forward with um, I don't believe I don't remember if it was Hawk or a month's plan where um, we flank the demon from either door and yeah. besiege him from both sides. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that could was work. Yeah, that wasn't my plan. My plan is to just somebody opens me a door and I just charge him with my spear. I was nice. thinking if we go down there and. <sighs> Seeing how I have two bliss left, and that's all I got, by the way. Um, oh, well, blesses are great. Yeah, I thought as much. One is my domain, and seeing how I can turn them into healing, I thought, well, let's go for bliss. Anyhow, Yeah. so cool. one of them should last long enough to get uh, up there, everyone having a bliss at least, and being able to flank him. Also, I would say... 
we leave the gems for now. Let's see if the demon guy dies and nothing happens with glass walls nor the cage, then we can see how to get that Hydra out and kill it. Conquer. All right, and I can also. I have. Uh, Alden says this. I actually have for my god Apsu. I have the ability to smite once today, and I don't think the Hydra is evil because I think uh, Bill, Bill told us that it was just a an animal level of intelligence. Mm -hmm. But the demon is almost certainly is certainly evil because we detected it as such. I could smite him in the name of Apsu, and that could help us as well. <coughs> Go for it. Smiting is always Good. nice. Yes, indeed. All right, so it sounds like we have a plan. The only de decision to make is, well, when to do it. Also, I would say that I go with Hawk and Bill and Alden go together. All right, so you like the flanking idea then? I, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, uh, I'm all for the flanking idea on this. We can see each other through the doors, so we know when we're in position. It doesn't really have many downsides to it. And if we split up with me and Hawk and Alden and Bill, we'll have a healer on each side also. Uh, it might be wise for uh, for you, Hawk and Alden, to follow us to the fidget pygmies, just so that they don't um, get any ideas as we as we oh, cross yeah. past them. Oh, yeah. That is wise. Thank you. Good idea. Yeah. So we go over to the fidget pygmies and get safe passage for uh, two of us, and then... Alden and uh, Matt, or Alden and uh, Hawk, return to the west side, and we can each see each other through the, the door, through the glass doors, I think, and then on the signal, yeah, through, we through rush there. in, right? You can just uh, see But we probably other. do check, we do check the door for traps, though, first, because I think we check the other door for traps, but not this one on the west. I'm like, okay, we can cover you, just do not waste too much time. Because who knows for how long he will. Oh, keep did praying. we check? The, I forgot the sigil. Did we? This is probably curing as well up here, right? This one. Yeah. Uh, I didn't uh, check it, but. I I think we did check it and found out it was something like major heal or something. Oh, so it uh, I don't. I don't think we ever. We never went enough. forward. Past the checker group. Throw a like, throw a spellcraft check for it. Yeah, if you want to be doing that first before you went over there, Phil. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I can't really go over there unless everybody else escorts me anyways. So. I'm just jumping the gun. Uh, I can't um, see it. <laughs> I rolled it, a two. It has uh, something to do with healing. You rolled a four, by the way. Uh, but uh, you don't know uh, what kind of spell it is. But it is uh, something with healing. Yes. All right. Uh, same answer. Unfortunately. Um, maybe one of us should use uh, the southwest one because we know that's cure moderate CL fifth, so then it can't give us any more than okay. uh, twenty one HP. I would probably be spamming a bunch of spellcraft checks now. It it lagged. Sorry. Oh. 21 HP will kill me. It would kill In you, fact, right? I already uh, was overhealed slightly, so my normal max HP is 22, and I have 26 right now, so 21 more. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll go, I'll go briefly use it, just uh, because I'm, I'm a slightly wounded, and I'll just be right back. So Alden, he actually goes down there briefly, and he steps on then off of the southwest one, because we already specifically identified that as being... Uh, Cure moderate so on, uh, on that one. Yeah. just He doesn't stand on it long. He just <coughs> briefly steps on it. Yep. Oh, as you stand on it, uh, the rune activates. And it costs uh, cure moderate wounds, cost a level 5 on you. Good. So you may roll 2d8 plus 5. Excellent. And then the rune disappears. Ah. So it's now uh, completely gone, wiped from the floor. Yep, the Hydra didn't seem to suffer from that at all, did it? Nope. Only you got healing. Ah, okay, so good. I don't know. I should go with Bill. Excuse because me. currently Alden is with, with Amund on one side. Uh, it doesn't really matter once we get in the room, but uh, I think... 
We were going to split up the healers. Oh, we were going to, yeah, um, Amund was going to be with uh, Bill, because that way he's a healer, and I'm a sl- somewhat of a healer, not a very good one. But Well, uh, I was thinking, uh, if it, you and Hawk were on different sides, we would have a spear through each door also. Or is that... Ah, okay, because I fought for mine that but, I was meant to be on the left side. So. So if I come over <laughs> here instead... <laughs> yeah, he's not going through that. Through that. Okay. <coughs> also, can you Sounds move like good. here so you will be able to open me a door? Also, uh, Alden checks the east door just to see if uh, that it's safe to open. If he just <laughs> in case he notices any traps, on it. I don't you think he does. you don't notice any traps. I'm on. I need a line for charge. So. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, good point. So Bill, we want to do the charging. Bill thing, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't notice any perception, or doesn't notice any traps as well. That's good, that's good. Oh, um, yeah, so if you want to step back, I can open yeah. the door and get out of the way. Yeah, That'd I want great. the same thing from Amun, that when he's prepared, he opens the door like being here, and I will be able to charge right after good. I apply protection from evil on myself. You awesome. Should, you should apply it before we open the door. Yeah, that's what I want to do, is that when I apply it, then, because I don't want to lose rounds on that thing, uh, it's just I apply it, he opens the door, and the next round I'm just going straight at the guy. But I think Amund can open the doors, being like, from this... this you can just step out of the way after. Yeah. Just open it, sidestep. Okay. Sounds good. So we have a signal arranged. So um, the moment the signal is given, we each open the doors and we try to rush in and conquer the demon. Um, or he's actually a, maybe a devil. No, he's a demon worship, worshiping a devil. That was what it was. Yes. Uh, throw your uh, initiative. Uh... I don't want to. So it, the, the devil or demon, is he still kneeling and seemingly unaware of us, right? Yes, he is. So I think we get a surprise round against him then. Yes, you he's get. Very, he's very dedicated to his cause. You're all pretty damn good on <laughs> initiative. Well, apart from... <laughs> but, but most of us. Yeah, you guys did, did uh, pretty good. Should say that. Um, so, how do you guys want to do it? You get one uh, free action as a surprise round. So. I think since we can each take a move or a standard, that the two of us who are opening doors take a move action, open the door, then a five-foot step, and the other two of us use a move, a- use our standard action to charge, because you can still charge even as a, yeah. in a surprise round, but only half the distance. Yeah, you can charge. Oh, yeah, wait, we'll... half a distance? Oh, but I think I yeah. still will be able to get him. Yep. Yeah, there's still yeah, plenty of... It's only ten feet. <laughs> yep. Don't forget you have your uh, reach weapon. Yeah, yeah. So you literally only have to move ten feet, so no problem. Uh, sure, go, uh, go do that. Bill and Amun to stand it, up, uh, I guess. Is it possible to open the door, take a shot, and take a five-foot step? No. Or, no. no. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I, the, yeah, because opening the door is a move round, action. So that's you, why. you get uh, one action, a move or standard action, not a full round action with surprise. Okay. Well, I guess I open the door. I guess you both do at the same time. Okay. And yeah, then you, uh, you guys step a uh, five foot. <laughs> yep. I'll behind the wall. Hold <laughs> the signal and then... Are you, uh, you have bless on yourself or a potion? I mean, the uh, way I, I think... talked, like I wanted to apply the potion just before we opened the door. So I don't lose, don't lose time on counter. Ah, good idea. Because that would be kind of stupid when I take the potion and then I lose like five rounds on it. Mm-hmm. Yes, no worries. Uh, right. So it's a uh, it's a uh, Matt and Alden surprise attack rounds. Yep. Do the doors actually open for us? Because we have never tried to open them until now. Uh, yes, they open uh, for you. <laughs> Good. Um, however, since your actions are later than a Moon and Bill, so the initiative should be like this. 
Alright. Yeah, it's like fantasy version of SWAT entry to a <laughs> building. Go, go, go! So I guess we charge? Yeah, it looks like um, you're first. Um, yeah, so I'm arc. like... Yeah, sure, uh, you guys can just... Both probably without and, uh... screaming much. <laughs> I'm just like, because I know about surprise, I have enough wisdom to know that surprise is a good thing. I just like... <laughs> and, like try to spear the guy with my with my spear. Appropriate. Uh, Very appropriate. Levels. I don't have. Uh, I didn't apply all of magic weapon, but never mind. You can add plus two to to hit after a roll because and charge bonus is it's not it's not included. Okay. Okay. Hawk roll. Oh my so god. So that's uh, that's uh. Uh, against as flat-footed. Yeah. And so that's that, total for 11. That misses. Yep, I guess as much. So there's a spear going in front of his eyes. Shee! Oh, gone. And I guess uh, uh, Alden charges in at the same time. Roughly the same time he's there. Oh, that's right, only one of us can get flanking. I hadn't thought of that because of the yeah. initiative, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can go with flank. Too. Yeah, so Alden... Action. Right, as um, as Bill throws open the door, Alden calls to the demon in Draconic, since he knows he speaks that. He says, in the name of Apsu, the grandsire of dragons, back to the abyss. And he first walks, I guess, charges. <laughs> and then he charges, yep. <laughs> and then it's a slam. He's smiting his foe, and, uh, and he's flanking, thanks to Hawk. All right. Flanking, charging, and smited. This is gonna hurt. And this is an outsider of the evil sub. Is it of the evil subtype? Um. Yes, it is. All right, that's even worse for him. Yeah, plus four to damage. Oh, yes, he yes. Um, oh no, he only got a thirteen though. Uh, that's with your uh, flanking bonus. That's with everything. He rolled a natural two. Okay, that that misses. Damn it! <laughs> Flat footed. <laughs> So much damage and that misses, and and oh, the the demon is like, well, he's now watching what what, and uh, it's Bill's turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, like SWAT team. <laughs> yeah, to although I I guess <laughs> yeah, like storm more like storm uh, stormtroopers, like <laughs> yeah. Oh, Except sorry. in the latest film, and they were pretty accurate in the latest one. Yeah. Where's well, my spell book? Where's my spell book? Let's hope the demon is a red shirt. I'm going to um, cast protection from evil on to Alden. Thank you. And uh, end my turn. All right. Actually, can I? I'm going to cast it from around the wall if I can. Just like slap him on the side. <laughs> uh, Amun, it's your turn. Yes. So, uh, I need to move there anyhow, but how did we do before? Did I cast Bless before on people and we have like half of the duration left or? Well, you wanted to cast Bless before, right? Yeah, I was thinking more, did uh, all them account oh, for Oh, did, did you in fact cast Bless? If so, then my roll was one higher. I don't think it would be enough, but... No, probably not, but... Uh, no, it would still miss. Yeah, yeah. I Unfor it. Unfortunately. In, in that case, I had cast it already. Okay. So then I guess I would cool. want to take a sh uh, shot. Uh, sure. Uh, what does he get? Soft cover or something? And in melee? Well, in melee gets offset by him, but... Um, the melee, he actually doesn't suffer that one because okay. uh, Hawk is 10 feet away, so you don't actually have that one. And the soft cover, since he's behind. Soft cover, oh. plus 4 AC to the demon. Okay, well, 30, yeah, 13 misses. Well, would be 9 then, or, well, 13 on my plus 4 AC. Um, so that misses, unfortunately. Come on, Hawk, your okay, second chance. Okay, uh, Amon, do you want me to take a 5 foot step to give you like a clear he's line of sight? He's still technically flat footed, also. Yes. Because he still hasn't acted. Like, I'm on, do you want nice. me to like, move, for example, here? Or. Not. You could move there after you attack. Yeah, but ah, okay, yeah, right, because of, of flanking bonus. 
this. Oh, God damn it! And then I like, try to spear the guy again. I don't want to hear see his sorceries. <laughs> so you can add two to that, so eighteen because of flanking. I didn't include flanking bonus in macro, so that's eighteen uh, total. Th that hits. Nice. Okay, so that's for eleven piercing. Um, let's see. Okay, eleven damage. <sighs> well, he's he's, ta he's taking a spear th uh, through his shoulder, and he's like <laughs> waving with his claws, and he's certainly upset about the spear, but it's not like a brutal, fatal wound for him. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in the glass enclosure with the Hydra, Scruffy is, <laughs> Scruffy is looking out at his uh, former friends. His ears are perked. Yes. But maybe maybe the enclosure is soundproof, so he's we can see his mouth moving, but we can't hear his barks of encouragement. No, you you do see him like, and you hear fa faintly soft, row, row. <laughs> and um, does Hawk still wants to move? Ah, right. Yeah. And with his renewed barking strength, it's Alden's turn. Alrighty. <laughs> um, I suppose, yeah, he could just step up and still have flanking. So he does that mm -hmm. and attempts again, keeping the smite in effect and says, you don't belong in our world. And he says this in Draconic. Leave us. Does he say anything to that before he's, he's about uh, uh, let's see, can he speak Draconic? Yeah. Yes, he, he speaks back, uh, You die, mortal! Ah, we'll see who's mortal Fear here. Fear my might! You'll be going back ahead of us, into the underworld. Uh, I don't aim to go in there ever. <laughs> Indeed, I hope none of us go there. So Alden raises his hammer up above his head and tries to crash it down upon the skull of our foe. And misses. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Natural one. Oh no, that that actually hits. Hold on, I haven't done it yet. Oh, she oh. Has <laughs> I still see the six. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his text, and then it was go. Oh, hey, uh, that <laughs> actually hits as well. It does. Wow. Yes. Yes, it does. Um. Well, he's he's pretty suffering from that blow. Oh, did you add plus? I did, I believe. You don't have a plus one in your. Yeah, I don't see a plus one. In your. Plus. Oh, it's not. It's not listed separately. It's uh, all included in the last number. Oh, the four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he goes the power, and powered maximized quickened fireball, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, one weakness. How did he know? So, uh, if I if I'm going to stand here, do you, do you get an attack for opportunity? If I cast spells? Unless um, he casts defensively. Where? And if he wants to cast defensively, so he needs to make a concentration check. Um, yeah. yeah. The only place he is... could stand is here, I think. That would be out of the yeah, Actually, if he, he wanted to be. Take a five foot if, step. He, if he wanted to be really sneaky, he could step he, either of these two places and not get an attack of opportunity. He could oh, step really? towards them. Okay, yeah. then, so I can if, also step towards here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's the best because if he, even weapons. if he wanted to step towards me as an immediate action, I could shorten my grip, and then if he wants to cast a spell, oh, it's then... immediate action, right? Yeah, my my shortening grip from Polar Master is oh, an immediate that's action. That's right. He might not know, but yeah, good point. So he's uh, well, you've hit him pretty damn hard. So he's uh, stepping towards you, and he's uh, um. See, is he going to do that, or is he going to do this? He's going to do this. He's going to try <laughs> to attack your weapon, so he's uh, oh. attempting a thunder attack. Okay. Um, so he took a five foot step, and with one claw, he takes a thunder on you. Uh, that is. This is on your uh, CMD. Well, that's exactly. Okay. Uh, no, it, yeah, it's actually my CMD is actually twenty thanks to protection. Wait, no, thanks to Smite because I oh. get plus three deflection against him, so he barely uh, misses. Y I think. Y you got uh, got lucky this time. Yes, <laughs> but he still has another claw, 
And I believe uh, you may make multiple sneak attacks. Or a thunder, thunder. attack. Uh, that was revised. If you are full Still attacking, there. then yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he's, it, he's full attack. replaces attacks. Attack. Yeah, you can continue to. So he's thrown another one on you, but that one misses. And he's still trying to bite you. Wow. And that one misses, I guess. So yeah. You're, uh, he's that was a nice. He could have easily wrecked me pretty good, though. <laughs> and then he's like, "Well, fuck that." <laughs> he already took a step and attacked. So uh, Bill is. Um, I don't he's remember like, if like, I ah, identified him it. as being um, resistant to fire or not. Um, you got his immunity from electricity. Okay. You didn't uh, got any resistances that you, that you knew of, that you got. Right. And you knew his weakness of hatred of mirrors. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Uh, Send off a uh, fire beam at him from okay. around the corner. Actually, I'm gonna go to this corner. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, can you do that? Yeah, you can peek around the corner. He can basically lean around the corner just a little bit. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like oh, I'm, okay. Like I'm using cover, and uh, this is still firing into melee, so minus four, but um. <laughs> It's against touch AC. Uh, that hits on his touch AC. And as the fire ray is going on him, he's like, and he scruffs it off. Ah, so we didn't learn about that particular immunity, maybe, or resistance. I, fi I figured he had it, but... I yeah, it makes sense. Demon, yeah. And now Amuntis. Can I take a five step there? Or is the door in the way? Uh, mm, yeah, the door's in the way. Yeah, you can't usually. No. Then I guess I'll just step in there and take a shot. Uh, sure. It's into melee, but you have that feet for it, I believe, or do you not? Yes, I do. Okay. And I also got uh, the prerequisite uh, plus one within 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Thing nice. The deadly aim, I believe. Precise going. shot like and shot. Uh, uh, point blank shot. This actually point blank or precise shot. Yeah. Point blank, yeah. This actually hits. And that's plus two and plus one damage because of point blank shot. And I don't know if bless does no. anything with damage. Doesn't. It's just plus so, one so it's eight. eight eight damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, he took an arrow through uh, through the side of his arm, and uh, he's like. Aah! And he's looking menacingly on it towards you, like die creature, die. <laughs> and then it's Hawk's turn. Okay, question. Uh, without Alden moving, is there any way for me to get a flank with his current position? Uh, Here. yeah. If you stand over there. Here, do I get a flank? Yeah. Technically, I might not threaten. It depends on the GM, your opinion, though, because I don't. I'm holding my weapon with two hands. No, so I, th I think you would threaten it. Uh, okay, that's fine. If you, uh, like a rogue would also get, if he would stand there, would also get a sneak attack. I would. So, for example, well. if I move like that, 